Hi everyone, it's Sean from Chicory's Travels and I'm here with Dennis, the CEO of Battleborn Batteries and Andrew and Janelle of Home with the Hoopers. And we're talking about off-grid living, specifically solar and lithium battery power. And uh, Andrew and Janelle, could you just start by telling us what your current power setup is? Yeah, so we have a 1,935 watts on the roof. Uh, they go into four Victron controllers um, and are charging eight lithium Battleborn batteries. Uh, all of those charge are converted into our, our rig for power on both legs. We have two Magnum 3000 watt inverters, hybrid inverters. That's a great system, guys. It's a lot of power. We left January 10th of this year, and we've actually only been in an RV park for one week this whole time. And that was primarily because of proximity due to my office in California. There, there's no boondocking at, at that area. I, I'm curious about the difference between boondocking now and boondocking before, but were you ever boondocking before? Yeah, so last year we went to Alaska. We left in June 1st, went up through Canada. Uh, we boondocked most of the the time we were uh, up there. I think we had uh, five months. Yeah, I think we went to an RV park twice, and that was primarily to recover from a, a long gravel road. We had a lot of dirt inside the camper. Uh, but boondocking last year versus now is completely different. I know before in our old setup, I was constantly having to worry, like before I turn something on and be like, oh, and like run and turn something off or flip over breakers or constantly having to ask him, can I do this? Can I do that? And now it's just like our family flow is just so much more smooth and everything. Yeah, is yeah, it's, it's basically like we're hooked up to an RV yeah, park at all like times. A fluid I mean. connection. So the kids don't notice when you're boondocking and when you're not. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that they miss is they want, they like to take the longest showers in the world. They want to bring all their little cars in the showers. So they don't like boondocking only because we take military showers for water supply. But, but nothing that, power related now. Yeah. Other than that, they still get to watch a movie and, you know, so they're, they're good. Do you do any sort of conservation when you're off grid? Uh, not with this setup. Um, in the, the prior setup, it was definitely, you know, I'd shut off all the breakers at night, maybe even shut off the refrigerator just to make sure, especially on colder nights, to make sure that the furnace would get through the, the whole night. Um, we've got, I think in two days, it's supposed to snow here in Sedona. So, uh, you know, we'll have to, we would have had to do something. Uh, now, like I said, you know, we're running, it's a fully charged when we go, when we go to bed or when the sun goes down and running everything that we would typically do, not having to ch make any changes. Um, we're still got plenty of charge in the morning to first thing in the morning, kick on the heat pump before the, the, the sun's, sun's even up, up yeah. and not have to worry about it. And at nighttime too, even uh, once the sun has already set, we have enough uh, power reserve that if I take a shower, I can blow dry my hair or still function. Yeah, she, with does, that, get, yeah, she, does, she does our cooking as well after hours or after the sun goes down, our Instapot. We obviously have the TV running. So um, we don't, with this particular system and setup and the, the batteries and the reliability, we don't have to have any conservation. So uh, what, can you tell me what your biggest power hog is? So the, Probably there's three that are right there next to each other. Um, the Instapot, uh, the toaster, which she does all the time, and then obviously our air conditioners. We have soft starts on both of our air conditioners, uh, and we actually run both of them at the same time. Uh, but the air conditioner is, is by far the biggest biggest power hog. Mm -hmm. um, but I, we don't hesitate to use it if we need to. Yeah. Have you guys ever run the batteries down to low voltage disconnect? So the batteries, no. I have my inverters set at 12.1, uh, and they'll cut off before that to up, still allow us to have, if, if we need 12-volt stuff, um, and then we have a precision, I think it's a BGA in line as well, which also cuts off prior to the batteries. So we've got the, the two things prior to that, the inverter at 12.1, the BGA, and then the batteries. So we have not got to the point to, to mess with yeah. the batteries. Yeah, you, you do have a good setup to protect uh, uh, against yeah. going down the low voltage disconnect just because that can be an annoyance, if, uh, yeah. you know, with, with especially charging from a sort of charge controller. Um, but have, have you found yourself getting down to that low level frequently based on your power usage, on, especially on cloudy days? Um, on cloudy days, not 
not as much just because of the, the the panels they're able to still pull in quite a bit now if it's completely raining and everything um you know we'll go for a couple of days our refrigerator takes a lot of power over the entire day whereas an air conditioner will cycle our refrigerator you know has has about a steady 10 to 16 amp draw all the time um but no we haven't I would say the closest we've gotten with that is I've noticed was um, when you had this one really cloudy week and I was doing um, laundry, I'd like done all the bedding and everything. And so I was watching it really closely just when I would, the washer doesn't use that much power, but once I kick on that dryer, I would notice a really big suck then. So I was kind of having to watch the panels, but I didn't ever let it get to the point where they kick off uh, the protection modes would have to come in. So yeah, we've done, we've done it once uh, and I don't mind supplementing. We have a, we have our generator and the hybrids kind of pass through that power as needed as well. Um, so I, if, you know, there was a day it was, it was cloudy it was probably a month ago when we first got to, to mm -hmm. our friend's house and she was doing two or three loads of laundry in one day. And uh, I did start the generator just, not to have to put the strain on the batteries, not that they couldn't do it, but I have the generator, I bought it for a reason, why not use it as well? And what kind of RV do you have? Uh, we have a 2020 Keystone Montana fifth wheel. Tell us what you guys do for fun. We do a ton of hiking, uh, lots of outdoors. The kids actually both are big into BMX racing. So when we go to all these new locations, we try to find uh, BMX tracks in the area and they, do uh, local races and stuff and collect trophies. Um, we just try to experience everywhere we go as yeah. well. I mean, I'm, I have, I'm fortunate enough to be able to work from the house uh, and have some flexibility as well in that. And so last year, again, we went to Alaska. We went on glacier cruises and, and you know, the flyovers. We've done snorkeling yeah. in Key West. And my six-year-old and I, he was five at the time, uh, did parasailing in Key West you know, 500 foot in the air on a boat. He absolutely loved it. We do hiking. Uh, we've taken some helicopter rides over the Grand Canyon. Just, it's a, just about experiencing. We don't buy the boys stuff. Um, it's about experiencing and, and getting those memories uh, for them to last. Has your ability to be off grid and boondocking facilitated that, that sort of life, lifestyle, especially with your boys? 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, they're outside every single day and we try to typically be in an area uh, you know we're able to boondock a lot closer to those areas where we want to be at versus an rv park that may be an hour or two away you know we often talk about battery anxiety here you know running out of power but there's other anxieties that go with it like oh what are we going to be able to cook are we going to be able to you know, do we have to get out of here quickly so it's kind of like the your entire lifestyle is uh, you know, it's some stress is eliminating. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah we, I mean, we've had, we've had our fair share in the other rigs of, you know, wanting to leave in the morning and our batteries are dead from running the furnace all night, all night long with our AGM batteries and I'm having to plug it up to the truck and wait an hour to be able to pull the slides and just stuff like that where uh, it's, yeah. it's amazing. Well, thanks uh, for, for joining us and talking and talking to us about your setup. If people are interested in following you guys, how can they do that? So we have our main platform is our Instagram, which is home with the Hoopers. We also have a Facebook page, home with the Hoopers, YouTube. Um, we try to put out weekly content on Sundays. Um, we're actually working on our install video right now for this whole um, solar and battery setup that we have, um, and that's Home with the Hoopers. And then our website is www.homewiththehoopers.com. All right, well, thanks so much. And uh, we'll, hopefully uh, people will reach out to you and uh, find out more details about your install and uh, maybe hit you guys up about some homeschooling uh, tips. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, that is becoming a spotlight item these days. It really is. Everyone's doing it. I don't know why. <laughs>